Welcome to another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. As you know, we are huge Ducati fans here at the shop, especially the old bevel drive Ducatis. That's my 1983 Hellwood replica that I bought brand new in 1983. Bevel drive means the overhead uh, valves are driven by a camshaft, and then you have a, uh, a bevel drive goes up to the camshaft rather, rather than having a tooth belt. I mean, rubber belts are nice, but they're not really mechanical. You know, I mean, Ducati engines like these are like opening the back of a watch. And there's beautiful, beautiful things to look at. And sadly, these were discontinued, oh, sometimes in the 80s. And we went to more modern design, which might be faster and more fuel efficient, but they don't have the soul of these early uh, bevel drive bikes. Uh, but luckily, those days are back again. There's a company out of Australia named uh, V2 Australia, and they recreate the entire bike. They build their own motor. Uh, this is not some fly-by-night company. I've been involved with them for a long time. They make replacement clutches for Vincent's and other motorcycles, and they just do beautiful, beautiful work. Let's meet the owner and the managing director, Brooke Henry. Brooke, come on in, my friend. Good to finally meet you. How are you, Jay? Good to meet you. Andrew Cathcart, how are you, my friend? Good to see you. You know, you might know that last name. His dad is probably one of the most famous motorcycle journalists in the world who's road tested bikes on every continent and uh, yep. a pretty impressive resume. Now, first of all, let's go over to your engine here. This is, is it safe to call this a replica engine? Uh, yes, well, it is a replica. Uh, yeah. We've made that in Australia, and, uh, it, but it's made to the original factory drawings, which, which we, have, um, we own. And obviously, it's the original engine was a 750. How many cc is this? This one is actually a 750. Oh, this is a 750. We, okay. we make them in a 750 and a 992. Okay. And again, you make every part with this motor, don't you? This is one of the things where you find old, uh, you know, casings or case, uh, anything like that, cases, whatever. We, we actually you, have the patterns and, yeah. and the molds. We cast them. Yeah. And as I said, they do beautiful work. I've used their parts in my. They're clutches. They make replacement clutches for Vincent motorcycles, which are basically Ducati clutches, aren't they? Correct. Yeah, yeah. And, and they work beautifully. I mean, they work. Well, look at this. Look at this motor. Look at this. You see, this is, you don't know what we're talking about with bevel drive. Does this, can we? Can you're, we the, this, this is our bevel drive right. to the camshaft. Right. The, cam, the reason you had bevel drive was, I think it was Professor Taglioni, is that how you say Correct. his name? In the old days, valve springs were not made out of particularly good metal. So when you got up to high RPM, the valves would float, meaning the, the spring was going so fast the spring couldn't close it. Couldn't so he developed this system of having a bevel drive. Now Mercedes had it in a Grand Prix car back in the 30s, but he was, I think, the first to utilize it in a motorcycle, if I'm not correct. Yeah, well, commercially, without yeah, any doubt. Yeah, commercially, right. Without any doubt. So what this does is, so you don't get any valve float, you know. You've got, plus you've got precision timing of the valve. The gear opens it and closes it. And they just run beautiful. It's a V-twin. I always like to call these a Harley that went to college. You know what I mean? They just, you know, it's got it's got the overhead valves, but it just. And in my uh, Hailwood over there, I put the glass window in here, so as you're riding, you look down, and you can see the the bevel gear working and all that. Don't look too much, or else you'll run off the road. But it's just fascinating. It's it's fascinating to see. It's just to me, these are like watches. They're just beautiful, beautiful motors. Uh, how long did it take you to develop this engine? Uh, I've been developing this engine since I started the business 30 years ago. Okay. I mean, was that your dream to build? Were you just a Ducati nut, one of those guys? Yeah, I, I, it was my dream to build my own engine. Right. And, and basically, this is built to the exact drawing, so it's physically the same, but the internals are all right. uh, current new technology. And this is not a Ducati? It no, is, it's it, a, a, v, a, it's v, a V2. It's v2. a V2 Retorno. Yeah. Right. Retorno is the... Is the name we've given this right. engine. And if I had an, an old Ducati with a blown engine, I could buy one of your motors and put it right in, couldn't I? You could. Also, all the bits that we make inside yeah. will fit your bike or anyone yeah, else's. If they've got a bevel drive engine, all our internals will fit straight in. So I have an endless supply of parts. You certainly you do. Yeah, trying to get stuff from the factory. Wonderful bikes. <laughs> uh, it's, you know, trying to get stuff. Well, they had trouble making bits to put their own bikes together, never mind your spawn spares. I know, I know. But there's, there's such soul in these motorcycles. It's a beautiful sounding bike. Let's go to your finished bike. Now, this is your finished product. This is a road legal bike. You can ride anywhere. And, of course, it's a, uh, 
it's not a Halewood, obviously, but it's similar to what Mike Halewood rode. For those of you that don't know, Mike Halewood, one of the greatest motorcycle racers of all time, and he, he retired from motorcycle racing, I think, in the late 60s, and then he came back 10 years later in 78 to do the Isle of Man. Right. And everybody right. said, oh, don't do it, Mike. You were the champion. You're going to look silly. You're an old man now. Was he 38 or whatever it was? Uh, you, you know, and you're doing it on an old-fashioned motorcycle with two cylinders and, you know, the big four-cylinder Kawasaki's and everybody else was racing. Wouldn't be competitive. Yeah, and they just thought he wouldn't be competitive and he's just, he's going to ruin the legend. Well, he went on to win the race and people just went crazy. They went so crazy that the Ducati factory had to build a Mike Halewood replica. In fact, I was one of those crazy people went out and bought one. I bought that bike brand new in 1983, and it's still one of my favorite motorcycles to ride. It's got the long wheelbase and that low-end torque. You open that throttle on any gear, and it just pulls. And that's only 85 horsepower. What is the horsepower in this one? 122. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's, you see, that's what we're talking. You see, it's just, yeah, yeah. you see, just, just wonderful. And of course, you mimic the tank as well, the sort of jelly yeah. mold tank that was popular back in the day. And that tank, of course, was fiberglass, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah. as is this. Oh, this uh, is the fiberglass. It is, it's lined fiberglass. In yeah. fact, it still even has the, the clear stripe down the side so you can see the fuel level. Can you see the fuel level? Yeah, you yeah. can. Well, yeah. I, how does that? Well, you can see it in the, the right light. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. When Very good. When sloshing around. Uh, Five-speed transmission? Yeah. Okay. So. And that's a V2 item, uh, a gear set that we make ourselves. So you make your own transmission. Yeah. And I mean, it's just amazing. And you know, some of this is really a labor of love because you don't get rich doing this. You're doing this for people who love it right. and, and really admire the bikes. I, I'm, I'm one of those people. Whenever I get a chance to buy any of their products, I always do because I, I know it's made to the highest degree and that they're, they're true enthusiasts. I mean, this is just such a, a beautiful motorcycle. Now this one, you didn't make the frame. This one is an 81. That's right. Okay. So, Born okay. the same year that I was. Huh? Born in the same year you were. That's right. Wow. So, I hope yeah. it wasn't started in the same year. Man, it's, yeah. it's, you finally take delivery when you're 90 years old. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, to me, this looks like a factory bike, but of course it's not. It's, well, it's out of your factory. Yeah, right. But you've got Brembo brakes. What, did mine have Brembo? I can't remember. What was the original brakes on they that? They are Brembo they brakes. They were Brembo, so, but, but, but not they, these. These, not are, these. These are just uh, modern. Modern. Modern yeah, brakes. Yeah, so, yeah. Same as the forks and, and, the, and the suspension. And it's a kickstart. It's a kickstart. Yep. Right, just like the original. What does the bike weigh? Uh, 370 pounds, so wow. 170 kilos. OK. Mm. Um, two thirds the weight of the bike once I sit <laughs> on it. That's, yeah, that's a little <laughs> tricky, yeah. But I mean, yeah, it it looks um, it it looks like an original frame, uh, but it is modified. Yeah. Um, one of the main things you wanted to do, really, to complement the engine, is to uh, was to give it a, a modern suspension geometry. Obviously, the does the frame was designed at the time where the thought was put as much weight over the rear wheel as possible, have um, the rake kicked out so it's really nice and stable. Right. And um, you know, that made for pretty lazy handling yeah. when it came to performance. My well, see, I'm lazy, <laughs> so for me, that's yeah, perfect. perfect. Like with that bike, I am not a racer, certainly. Right. But on that bike, when I would get into a big sweeper, I just lean it over. And it's like a freight train. It just pulls you around. You can take your hand off the bars if you want. You don't get any of this. Right. I mean, it's just stable. I mean, as a road bike, it's perfect because it's comfortable. And in any gear you're in, just open the throttle, boom, 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 and you, and you pull away, you know? You're not a lot of downshifting all the time. It's just stable. It's really a, a fast tourer, almost. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But right. more They're than, famous yeah. for that. Oh, yeah. yeah, but it's a wonderful, wonderful bike. My, uh, my dad's famous saying was that you have to send a telegram to the front end when you wanted to, to tip it in at speed. Of but, course. Um, and of course, at your age, you didn't know what a telegram is. <laughs> no. That's not, <laughs> no, it's I'm not like, sure if he knows what a fax is. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So these kids today, you know, what are you going to do? But uh, boy, it's, it's just a beautiful view. Are these available here? Can people call you up and order one? Yes, they can. We're, we're making them to order. Yeah. Um, so this one really was built, definitely, as you said, like a, a labor of love. Right. The main reason really was just to, to allow people to ride a bike with our engine fitted. We've sold several of these, right. um, but with us making them, none, none yet have been available just to anybody and everybody and for them to, to ride. How much are they American? 
Uh, American for the engine is 28,000 right. US. And for the whole bike? Uh, 59,000. Okay, well, that's, not, that's not bad at all. Yeah. That's not bad at all, considering what you get. I mean, mm. it's a bespoke motorcycle. Yeah. And, uh, and plus, anybody who knows the history of Cotty knows this motor. And now you can get a brand new one with, what, 30% more horsepower yeah. than the original, which is, because yeah. yeah. the real ones are, I mean, the real 750s are, what, 200,000? Yeah, that's um, part, yeah. Of the, part of the thing is now that it's, uh, there are only a few of those bikes available anyway. Right. And now they've moved into the realm of the, the collector. Yeah. Um, they're getting to the point now where it's almost too expensive to, to risk riding them. Right. I mean, I love that we live in an era where you can literally recreate history. Yeah. I mean, new bikes are fun and they're fast and everything, but they don't have the soul and the passion mm. that these have. I mean, this just has a doom, doom, doom. It's like you're driving a bass drum. It's just bang, bang, bang. And, you know, just, just yeah. fantastic. But what is the red line on this? Um, this one, uh, we red line at right around 8,500. Wow, around that's, 9, that's certainly way higher yeah. than the original as well. Yeah, the seven, 750 is even more than that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I suppose one of the things to say uh, about the RPM is the fact that we're using 94 millimeter bore uh, for both of these engines. Mm -hmm. we, we just changes the stroke. Oh, okay. Um, so obviously on the original crankcases, you could only really go out to, what, 89 yeah. millimeter bore, 90 maybe if you're Safe, racing. Safely. So I'm guessing the 750 is a sweeter motor? <laughs> yeah, well, it, it's higher. it's yeah, it very, very short well. stroke, very yeah. Short. Yeah, 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 and a very quick rate of engine acceleration. Revs yeah. very, very quickly. Very light flywheel. Yeah, yeah, very light flywheel. Very light flywheel. And what's the does it have a flywheel at all? <laughs> what is the horsepower rating on this motor? Hundred, just about. Yeah, 100, 100, probably a bit over hundred. Yeah, and that's way more than Hale would race with, isn't it? Oh, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hale would race with eighty six, I think. Eighty six, eighty seven, something like that. Yeah. So wow. Pretty amazing. Carburation is what? Delano? No, these uh, are actually um, Cahin uh, flat slide racing okay. carburetors on okay. this one, 41 millimeter. Okay. Um, and as you can see, the air is much cleaner in Australia. You don't need air cleaners. <laughs> That's right. Because uh, the Australian air is just a, just a pure, it. you don't, don't need any air. That's it. Yeah. Even without, um, even without California smog. There's no people breathing it up. Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> no, it's really. Just a quality piece of engineering. I mean, you know, this is one of those kind of bikes you put in your living room and then you get a glass of wine or something, you sit down, and you just sort of stare at it. You know, your eye falls to <laughs> all the little details. I mean, I had mine out a week ago because I knew you guys were coming and I said, this, I want to ride it just to, oh yeah, this is, I, you know, and I've been reading in all the international motorcycle magazines about it. And you brought it to America, so this is just yeah. just fantastic. Anything you want to show us on this? Let's show them the timing side as well. <coughs> like, yeah, that's this that's is uh, this is this is a uh, a straight cut um, straight cut primary gear, gear uh, right. a straight cut primary gear that we manufacture. Yeah. Originally, the helical cut, right. which uses horsepower. Right. Um, and. Is it straight, noisy? Is it straight noisy? cut's definitely a little noisier yeah. than, than, but I mean... But it's a good noise. It's good a good noise. noise. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a good noise and, yeah. and, uh, and it, it uses less power. And we, and we change the ratio as well. Yeah. So we yeah. spin the gearbox at a different speed. See, like yeah. if your spouse says, why is it so noisy? That's good. That's the one you want. That's you, the one. You want that noise. Right. Yeah, you can just hear the motorcycle. Yeah, and just the quality of... I mean, how long did it take to just engineer it and make the case? I mean... Obviously, you, there must have been a lot of trial and error, correct? Yeah, the uh, the the cases um, were come comes from racing, yeah. like the last thirty years, and uh, you know, like these got a lot more webs and a lot more strength. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in here, which, which see yours wouldn't have that. Right, right. Um, but but I mean, we intended to make a lot more horsepower this engine. Right, right. So, uh, but yeah, there's a lot of a lot of development in racing. Mm. Um, and it's a higher quality metal, isn't it? Far yeah, higher quality yeah, yeah, yeah. than the original. Because it's available. I mean, it right. wasn't available when, sure. when, when Howard has his bike. Yeah. Now, something different, the oil filter, tell me about that. Yes, Jay, uh, these, these castings, this particular crankcase, um, has got an exposed oil filter, mm -hmm. which they drew and designed this engine for Howard um, to run the island. Right. And it, it, was, it was destined to be a production motor. But in actual fact, long story, but they didn't produce it. 
they they kept going with with this motor, right, the same right. as your engine, and they only the factory only ever made five engines with this particular crankcase design. Okay. And and the the patterns and the moulds that we have, which are the original ones that the, 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 the production motors were going to be made out of, right. uh, are what we're uh, what we're casting these from. So so the factory was going to produce this engine yeah. as a production engine, uh, but they never did. See, and then you have this is an homage to Italian wiring, just <laughs> three wires come and going, and that's no, they're all the same color going in no diff that's it. Diff direction. Yeah, that's it. my favorite thing about Italian bikes. You look under the seat, all the wires are the same color, and they're not labeled. Yeah, so that's, that's right. That's the key. Yeah, so. Well, they never had any power on them anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Very cool, very cool. Very nice. So what's the compression ratio on these pistons? You know, uh, 13, 13, 13 to 1 for the race motors oh. and at 12 to 1 for the road okay. motors. Okay, so it'll run on premium pump yeah, gas. Yeah, it'll run on yeah. pre premium yeah, pump yeah. gas, yeah. And of course, being a proper kickstart bike. Yeah. yeah. Well, we are going to oh. make it with an electric start. Yeah, oh, you are? Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we have that option available. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because the market, the market these days dictates that. Really. So this has no battery, yes? Or no? Yes, it, yeah, is, but it, it does have battery. Yeah, it's, we, we've tried to hide um, not only the battery, but also um, because Brooks designed the cylinder heads to have twin spark plugs. Right. Oh, okay. Um, it has to have two coils. So we've uh, hidden all of that up underneath the, oh, the fuel tank. Oh, you've got twin plugs? Is it a twin? Yeah, it's twin yeah. Oh, it is. I, I'm not even paying Look at that. And what sort of combustion chamber? It's not a Hemi, is it? It's a no, it's what they call bathtub. Oh, okay. So uh, it, it's it's very much the shape of a bathtub. Mm. Okay, so uh, so, I, so you got the plug on each side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They fire at the same time, or is one slightly? No, good? they fire identical. At the same time, so identical. you get a big healthy yeah. spark. Yeah. So yeah. you just get a good a good fast burn in the in cool, the chamber. Cool. Can we fire it up? Sure can. Uh, what do you sound I hope so. Like? Yeah. <laughs> really? You turn. You turn it on, Andrew. Yep. Fuel on? Uh, fuel on. We better have the fuel on. Yeah, fuel's on that side. Yeah. so much more horsepower than mine. I don't find the primary noisy at all. I mean, he said those straight cut gears would be noisy, but it's not bad. Wow, what a living, breathing thing this thing is. Just fantastic. You hear the induction noise and gearbox is perfect. Neutral comes right up, doesn't get hung up in any gear. No matter what gear you're in, it just keeps pulling. Handlebar height is perfect. You know, at this speed, the wind just keeps you up. Now this feels like a motorcycle. You know, fours and sixes are nice, but a V-twin, boy, that's my favorite configuration. It's a torque monster, this thing. What a fantastic engine this is. It's, it's like one of those uh, comic books, you know, where you have the regular bike, and then it gets hit by some ray from outer space, and suddenly it's got superpowers. That's what this engine is like. 
Gearbox is perfect. Clutch is perfect. Really fantastic. Oh my god. What a wonderful machine this is. It's just like my bike, only better. I mean, that's it's got an extra what? 40 horsepower? Man, what a difference. Well, the engine feels so incredibly tight. I don't get any sort of flex or noise or vibration. It's just so stable, you just think your way into a corner and it goes around. Oh, hey, here we go. Boy, we thought it'd take the Australians to make a perfect Italian bike. Very nice, gentlemen. Thanks, Boy, sir. what a wonderful Thank bike. You. It's really terrific. Um, I always say this, but it feels like a solid piece of billet. The engine seems so much stronger. Yes. It's so much power. But you know, this is what giving birth is like for a guy. You develop your own engine. And you, you know, you take a raw piece of metal and then you you make it run. I mean, it's, it's just really something. This is really the bike builder's art here. Because a lot of people use somebody else's motor, Harley engine, whatever. You know, that's okay too. But to make your own motor, that's the real dedication. And to make it as good as this, no false neutrals in the gearbox, shifts perfectly, makes all the right noises, brakes every, I, I, I really couldn't fault anything on it. I mean, I didn't find the primary particularly noisy. No. Not no. annoyingly so. No. To me, there's nothing more annoying than the modern Ducati clutch. <laughs> you know, it just sounds yeah. like a bunch of BBs in a glass yeah. bottle, you know? It certainly Whereas does. This, I mean, this is really, it's like my bike on steroids or something. You that's know? it. That's exactly what it is. I mean, that, that's really that's exactly what, it, what is. it is. It's, it's like, you, you know those Marvel comics where the guys walk along, gets hit by lightning, gets superpower? Well, that's what this is like. I'm driving my Hillwood and some sort of beam comes from outer space and all of a sudden the horsepower is doubled. <laughs> I mean, it's really, it's really great. And, and for the price, it's really a fantastic deal too. Uh, gentlemen, congratulations. Thanks, Thank you Jake. so much. I'm glad you Thanks like so it. And again, these are available for sale. You can call them. They'll make one for you. And there's no fly-by-night deal. He's been doing, look, he's only 28 years old. Look at him. <laughs> you, see how, you see how hard this well, is man. to do. But, but it really is. I, this is one of those skills I would give anything to have, but I, I just don't. I, I'm dyslexic, I don't have patience, I always get everything wrong, so to see something built to such a level of precision is really, really impressive. So, gentlemen, I wish you the best of luck, and if you have a Ducati or a Vincent, and you need a clutch part, yeah. he makes those, and if you've got a Desmo like mine, it's nice to know if anything does happen to my motor, I can put one of these in. I, I might do that anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's, it might be a good one. We'll see you guys next week. Mm-hmm. <laughs>